Hi, this is Tim from DatingInfoForSingles.com, a website that covers everything you need to know for dating success. And today I'd like to discuss romantic date ideas, keeping it simple. People are constantly searching online for romantic date ideas, yet there seems to be a lot of confusion about just what constitutes a romantic date. However, there is no confusion about the importance of getting out every once in a while with no friends or kids, just you and your significant other. Such time away gives both partners in the relationship a chance to be close and to focus on one another. The more one-on-one -on -one time you can spend with each other, the more time you will have to bond and get intimate. So, what makes a date romantic? There are really just three basic criteria. A date can become romantic when you and your partner are one-on-one, -on -one, when you have a chance to talk and to learn from each other, and when you have the opportunity to become closer to one another. Now, the first criteria is to be alone with your date. It is possible to be romantic when with a group of people, but most of the time a romantic date will involve just the two of you. A family night involving the kids or a friend's night in which the kids are left with a sitter can certainly be a good way to bond with those you care about. However, there are occasions when you just need time away from everyone but your significant other. This allows a closeness that generally just can't happen when you are around other people. The second criteria that determines the romantic factor of a date is whether you and your partner will get a chance to talk and to learn more about each other. Riding a roller coaster at the amusement park may be fun and it will certainly give you a chance to get close to one another, but it should not be the first thing that would spring to mind when thinking of romantic date ideas. If, however, after leaving the amusement park, you were to go out for dinner or a nice quiet picnic, it would certainly be a great opportunity to let a little romance into the equation. Snuggling together on a blanket beneath the stars or eating over soft candlelight would certainly qualify as romantic scenarios. Romantic. A romantic date is not hard to define. First, you must be able to get alone with your significant other, meaning no kids, friends, or family. Secondly, you should have a chance to talk and to get emotionally closer to one another. Thirdly, you should have emotional closeness as the outcome of the date. Get these factors in place and you will have all the makings of a truly romantic occasion. Now, if you want more information about this and everything else related to success with the opposite sex, visit our blog at datinginfoforsingles.com slash blog. And while you're there, be sure to fill in your name and email address and get a complete library of seven free ebooks on dating and seduction secrets. See you there.